So let's get started. We have a plan to have the cost per kilowatt hour. And we're gonna go through that plan with you today, step by step, and build up how we get to these goals and how we accelerate this transition and make our vehicles and our, our grid batteries more affordable. In September 2020, the Tesla company at Tesla's Battery Day unveiled the 4680 battery cell to the world, with several new bits of technology that joined together to result in a tremendous energy-dense cell. The company surprised its users with a cost reduction of 50%, although with the new bits of technology added. Friends, you are on Tesla Tech, where we bring updates, news, and informative content on Tesla and its EVs. In this video, we will be sharing recent update news on the Tesla 4680 battery cell. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit on the notification bell to stay posted on the latest video we put up. Your subscription helps us to thrive as a channel and motivates us to put out more suitable content. In a tweet, the company's CEO Elon Musk said, we have successfully validated performance and lifetime of our 4,680 cells produced at our Cato facility in California. We are nearing the end of manufacturing validation at Cato. Field quality and yield are at viable levels, and our focus is now on improving the 10% of manufacturing processes that currently bottleneck production output. While substantial progress has been made, we still have work ahead of us before we can achieve volume production. Internal crash testing of our structural pack architecture with a single-piece front casting has been successful. Elon Musk, many months back, had been guiding his team in reaching a production capacity of 10 gigawatt-hours in the company's pilot factory to make a new battery cell in Fremont, California. These efforts have paid off, and the company today boasts of massive production of the 4,680 battery cells. One of the most noteworthy improvements that 4,680 cells bring to the table is the ability to shape a structural battery pack that makes the pack part of the vehicle structure hence reducing weight, parts, and cost. This 4,680 battery cell is the one powering several of Tesla vehicles like Model Y, Semi, Cybertruck and Roadster, and many others future produced at the Gigafactory in Berlin and Texas. The 4680 cell battery can run a range of 996 kilometers, equivalent to 619 miles. So on a single charge, you can drive from Maine to Washington DC or Halifax, Nova Scotia to Quebec City. The company beats the stakes of people being scared EVs can't drive long distances. Before you feel stressed about driving and need a meal, then stretch your feet, 996 kilometers most probably shouldn't have elapsed, then you can recharge. So how long can this battery be recharged fully? Can this be done before you finish catching your meal? Let's find out. 4680 cell battery from multiple reports indicates that charge times can elapse in 15 minutes on a level 3 high-speed charger. When not charging your car at home, you will be able to get it done on the highway quickly for those long road trips in the United States. As to the life of battery, the new Tesla 4680 is good and can last for 3.5 million kilometers which is 2 million miles, before one can think to replace the battery. Also, the 4680 cell battery has a good future prospect of being better as the company iterates. With the new EV produced incoming 2022, the battery cell system and technology are the company's target. The development and ingenuity of ever more efficient batteries developed by Tesla will create mass disruption in the marketplace. In terms of energy density, watt-hours per kilogram, the present standard Tesla battery has 380 watt-hours per kilogram. In five years, don't be surprised if the 4680 dry cell energy density increases by 5% a year compounded from 380 watt-hours per kilogram to somewhere in the 480 watt-hours per kilogram to 500 watt-hours per kilogram range. You need 450 watt-hours per kilogram to make commercial air passenger service viable. As we earlier mentioned, cost is graciously affordable. The company dropped production cost by 50% that's the manufacturing time and materials required for the 4680. Competition is thus expected to prevail in the window at the local car dealer due to this price drop. Currently, over 4416, model 2170 lithium-ion, 
cells are placed inside a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y long-range addition battery packs, while to fill the same space with the new 4680 cell battery, only 960 cells will be required. Lastly, in cold weather, the 4680 dry cell doesn't have a traditional electrolyte, meaning any gel or liquid acids. Liquid acids and gels don't like cold. The dry cell eliminates that problem, especially when combined with the heat pump Tesla developed that will become part of the automotive mainstream. There you have it for today's video. If you like what we bring out to you, kindly subscribe, like, share, and hit on the notification bell to stay posted on the new videos we put up. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.